When it comes to the history of the automobile, it all starts with Henry Ford and the Model T. If you actually think that, we've got some work to do. Pump the brakes, guys. I'm Christina Thompson for 8012. Ford gets a lot of credit for modernizing the car, and we'll get to him. But the history of autos starts way before the guy. Steam-powered wagons were built as early as the 1770s. The first U.S. patent for one came in 1789. But cars as we know them couldn't exist without internal combustion gas engines, which came about in the 1860s and 70s, leading to a whole bunch of different dudes across Europe working independently on building practical cars. By 1886, it wasn't Ford, but another name you might recognize who was granted his first automobile patent. Benz. The German Karl Benz had his gas-powered Motorwagen on sale by 1888, the first car ever available to buy. Five years later, America had its first automobile maker. The doors were open for a handful of companies to soon start mass producing cars in the States. Now we can talk Henry Ford. After getting forced out at Cadillac, which was originally called the Henry Ford Company, Ford would start mass producing the Model T in 1908. It sold 16 and a half million units in 19 years, still ranking it eighth among best selling cars ever. The iconic auto only cost about 21 grand in today's money. Prices dropped every year, and cars became something for the common man. From there, cars have kept evolving to reflect technology and style. Sure, we've got automatic transmission now, and electric cars, and everything's computerized, but the concept of an engine pushing four wheels has stayed pretty much unchanged. Wonder what station Henry Ford would have listened to on Sirius XM? Probably Motown. Keep on trucking from 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and leave a comment. But remember, if it's about your fantasy team or your vacation pictures, nobody cares.